Alrighty gents, this is where our campfire was in the old Gold Rush chimney. Woken up in the morning. It was the dance floor, man. What are you talking it about? It was a dance floor as well. <laughs> Dancing in the fire like a bunch of dicks. <laughs> this is our camp set up. A couple of bivy bags. Giant 10-man tent. Oh, ready dude. to freaking pack up. Continue down the single track. Try and find the way to the road down that way. Alright. After we pack up our minimal up. gear. We're going to continue down the single track that we have no idea where it leads. Literally no idea. Hopefully it leads to a road or something. And we can continue on to the Grampians is where we're camping tonight. Uh, which is quite far away. It's about 200-ish kilometers I think so. Um, we're gonna try and get there going through a couple state forests and shit. Should be pretty freaking fun. Oh, just on it. Yeah, you gotta go that way. Yeah, you gotta kind of stop and then correct. That's it. Fuck. Perfect. That's hard, dude. So we've turned around just because uh, they just kept kept having these huge obstacles that we could have done, but we just don't have all day to dick around and do them. Um, as we can see, it's only really enduro bikes that have been coming down here, not adventure bikes. Like I'm hitting my bash plate on almost everything. Uh, actually, this won't be too bad. There is a step up there, but hit it with a bit of gusto, and she'll be right. It's not, man, it's just... Whoa! Not perfect! Cruising through the state forest! Couple more state forests to go. Grampians, baby. Fun now, I just found a random ass hill. <laughs> I just picked to go through this forest and um taking up uh up and nice and crap. Oh look at the view. That's awesome man, I'm so happy I picked to come up here. It's a oh, nice hill. Pretty nice. Not bad. Not looking forward to going down. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down the other side I think. Yeah. It's a nice steep one, I know it doesn't look steep on camera, but it's a it's a decent one. A couple of nice big boulders that can uh, really get you a bit unsettled as well. First fuel stop, stall. We're trying to make the holes gap, but about 310 k's. We've still got some fuel. You can see down there, but when you get to this level, it's a bit below that. It actually the vacuum lines kind of struggle to get fuel to the fuel pump if you're really gassing it in sixth. Uh, but we'll fill up so I can speed on to uh, Hall's Gap. Yeah! Subway. Subway. Yeah. We made it up here. Just bombing these uh these awesome roads, man. Check out some of these freaking views. I don't know if the uh, GoPro does it justice, but Jesus Christ, this is freaking amazing. 
WR boys going strong. I can sense the impending rock wallaby hit. Already dodged like three of them. I really don't want to hit one. Because they're just going to come out from here and just be like, ah! Now heading back and get some more tinnies and some food and then head to our campsite. Man, this is good. Yeah, get a campfire going. It's gonna be red. Good old freaking WR250R adventure. Sound like ducks. Ducks are my mad fave. Are you scared because there's a blonde girl over there? It's an Instagram model. <laughs> Every girl in running gear is an Instagram model, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. It's like the same. Yeah, how's it going, Skippy? Boy runs away. Too many cameras oh, on him. Jesus. Oh, he doesn't give a fudge. Yeah, he's, he's freaking tiny, man. Yeah, he's he's so chill. Yeah, Chillest Skip ever, man. Oh, he is cute, isn't he? Oh. 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 Little bit camp gear. I didn't really feel like noodles and pasta and shit tonight and because camp's like two minutes out of the town I'm like frick it I bought expensive scotch fillet steaks and a shitty little aluminium freaking frying pan for 10 bucks I'm having awesome steaks tonight I don't give a crap these, oh, these freaking people are walking let's walk to the campsite it's only 10 kilometers frick that There's too many pigs in Gundy. Kalua. Ah, did drop anything. Hurrah! Alrighty, gents. You may remember this campsite before. I've slept here before. No, you probably don't. It was about a year ago. Beautiful sunset. Uh, the ultra lightness has gone out the window. Bought another little aluminium frying pan, some scotch filled steaks, olive oil. About to cook them up. It's gonna be a mad dinner, isn't it, Brendan? Yeah, got, got some, some uh, cheese, can clubs. Got some sausages, got some chunky soup, got some tunes about hammering nails. Hammer and a nail. Uh, Rue chasing pig dog. Rue chasing pig dog. So I'm gonna cook this up. It's gonna be a delight. Mmm, it's gonna be a nice steak. actually film us packing up at all but packed up nice and quick bivvies and lightweight shit is very quick to pack up except for Nick he takes forever because he's a girl come on Nick come on Nick it's just an hour of waiting for him but we're gonna do some tracks <sighs> up there in those mountains up there Cause there's a couple pigs around Gundy Nick is still piss farting around Jesus Christ Nick come on Or else we'll meet you inside the town Nice little sandy track coming in there I missed it on the camera but Soft shit. No uh, Simpson Desert sand, but. Ah, oh, God, I wish the Simpson was like this sand. This is nice sand. Sand you can just ride fast on. Oh, actually, this is getting pretty soft. <laughs> Alright, film the lads coming through. Because that is actually a little soft, that bit.
Oh my god! <laughs> That's so hard. The first, the first little soft hit that did. That's so soft. Look at me. Good man. Sand's good for you. I hate sand. I hate it the most. One. I actually hate sand the most out of anyone. I guess because I've done, I've attempted the Simpson and a few other sandy ass tracks. Oh, we did just loop back on the road. And there's a wallaby, rock wallaby. Mount difficult four wheel drive. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, Nick struggle town and. I love seeing people first hit sand. I remember when I first hit sand, I was just like, Jesus Christ, it's the worst. Look at him. Sideways. It's hard, isn't it? It's really hard. It's crazy. Alright, let's do it. Let's get lattes! Latte time! First, let's do morning wheelie, eh? native Australian zoo. Look at all these kangas. And then you've just got a lazy emu and baby emu. So many bloody kangas. Kangaroos love like open plains. So when you're out here in the country or the bush or something, you see any of these open plains, it's just gonna be full of kangaroos. I love it, man. I guess because they can see their predators. There's not many predators that actually get kangaroos in Australia, but you can see predators and just bounce away. And uh, not many things could probably catch a kangaroo on the hop. So emus are cool though. Just rolling through the grain fields. We have a lot of grain here in uh, Victoria. So in America, you might have just paddocks and paddocks of corn. We have grain. Rolling on through, taking all the back roads back to Melbourne. Uh, lots of these stock routes that are full of the grain. Limiter. That limiter. Keep on rolling. Look at these country Instagram kids. Trying to get the quintessential... Uh, Just taking photos like that. Quintessential... Yep, yeah, I get to make fun of you guys. Big old Cyrus out there. That is a big freaking bull, man. How many steaks do you reckon you could get out of him? That's pure Angus. Pure yeah. Angus beef. Grain fed. That's his bitches over there. That's his hoes. Taking photos of Tom, taking photos of cows. He's such a big boy, man. Look at him. He's a thick, he's a thick fella. That's a freaking ton of Angus meat right there. Got a lot nibble, you jump in. Gotta get the, uh, the crowd shot. Crowd shot. Like the Asians. Pull the iPad out. Yeah. Do the grandma, wouldn't they? <laughs> hit the, uh, hit the, uh... What's doing, video? I'm doing a video. What? <laughs> on TV. This is the, probably the last bit. We're just cruising through the Brisbane National, this is called the Brisbane National Park. Yeah. Even though we're very far away from Brisbane. Like, Bothers me. You should have just taken a photo of the sign. Uh, they got these cool plants, which I like. Um, rocking through here and then to Ainsbury and then on the freeway and back home. WR250Rs, how many issues have we had? Zero. Broken engines, rocker arms saying g'day to us and shit. 
It's kind of boring having it WR250Rs. chain is slightly loose. Oh, that's oh, it. Shit. Turn back around. Oh, I'm a mirror. I'm a mirror. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's too boring. Nothing happens with WR250Rs. They just work. You get there, you come home. That's it. And you that do works. sick cunts. Anyway, that was a WR250R mini rally. Yeah. We're going to month, and, month until the next rally, the real rally, New South Wales. Yep. So, uh... Thanks for joining us. I'm going to rock on through this national park. Freeway home, couple of tinnies. Yep. That's it. And a shower. Nah, just tinnies. Just tinnies. I'm going to have tinnies in the shower. Tinnies in the shower. Tinny on the uh, dummy. One. Too many tinnies around. Got me. Jesus, drunk bastards. <laughs>